Hey, look. My power lines have appeared. It was indeed a bug related to the living room with a ship in it. So, yeah, this is back. I will leave it here for now. Doesn't do any harm. Powered by the batteries and the solar panels on top anyway. I will continue with the mine story. At least until uh, learning a few more language words. Let's see. Seek help. Okay. Time to go back into space. And look at the launch thruster. It was uh, only 20% consumed due to the module which I installed. Reducing that 5% from uh, my launch fuel consumption. Oh, already getting a message. It's Artemis. Hello, Artemis. After some obscure discussion Whoa, too much. After some obscure discussion, uh, Artemis wants to find a holo transmitter. And I think I should be inside the atmosphere of this planet. Planet Bob. <laughs> Very funny. In order to spawn one when scanning. And there it is. No. That's just the building. But the holo transmitter is not far. If I were in space, the game would pick a random planet to spawn the whole transmitter the moment of scanning. So, while things are already in uh, their fixed location, or more precisely, they are determined by... Uh, can I find it from the ship? Okay, let's see if we can find it by going slightly up in the atmosphere. Oh, there is. No more walking. So, if I went here, here on this exact location, uh, without the quest, the transmitter would be here. The algorithm which is uh, placing things down always uh, put things in the same place. Uh, it is random, but it's random with a seed, so predictable however when using scan the game picks one to give me as the target for the quest and I want the one which is on this planet it's a 
nice planet my home planet at the moment and I don't want to be worried about uh, bad weather and radiation and cold and such when I'm doing this quest stuff looks like it's missing a bit of sodium Hello, Artemis. The choices of discussion aren't really doing anything. The story will progress exactly the same no matter what I pick. I can only bail out of the conversation, but that's it. Uh, and it, I have to restart it if uh, I do that. So doesn't help much okay it gave me signal booster blueprint and apparently I need some uh, extra sodium in order to run it so I'm going to Pick a few sodium plants from here. Oh, there's another one there. We have some nice T Rex like creatures. And some flying fish. <laughs> they are funny. Wasn't there some sodium here? Yes, I just missed it. More rocks. Yeah, I don't need to scan all of this. So, uh, with the extra sodium, I can deploy... No, not yet. I need carbon nanotubes. Which means extra carbon, which I don't have. Wow. Okay. Time to do a bit of mining or harvesting because it's plants and not exactly mining them. There are not that many trees in this area of the planet. Interesting, nothing to harvest here. But this should be enough. Okay, let me check something. No, here. Discovery is 3 by 10. 
Okay. Get this as well. Do I have enough now? I should. I definitely should. Okay, back to the ship. This looks scary. Ah, it is ignoring me, so... Signal booster. I have to do this three times. Uh, where is the the next site? Uh. Okay, on another planet. That is fine. Let's go there. I can look around my ship while it's flying by keeping ALT key pressed. Same thing if I'm uh, using the inside camera. This works better in VR mode but I don't have a VR headset so... Is this the planet with the, the bones? Yeah, it is. So, how much space do I have? A few slots here and a few more on the ship. I could spend a bit of time on the planet and locate some bones. Having a few extra millions of credits not a bad idea. Where did it send me? Interesting. So this is a free exosuit upgrade module. It doesn't need repair. Carbon nanotubes and antimatter housing. But with this repaired, I can get an extra slot, like filling this one here, for example, without paying. And if I find more of these drop pods, I can add a lot of extra slots to my suit. More stuff to loot. A few here as well. Hmm. Okay, he gave me one of these things. That should be useful. Doing a bit of extra carbon mining because 
I use some to craft carbon nanotubes and it might be that I need even more carbon I should have enough for now yeah definitely enough okay step two signal booster and it sends me yet in another place off planet but first I will check if there are any bones around. 900. Oh, we have a sentinel here. Interesting. Looks like I didn't scan much from this planet yet. Yeah. That can be useful and it's not far away. Gives me chromatic metal. Just a bit, but still. Okay, let's not get distracted by the rocks. Uh, I wanted to pick up this birdie technology module, which was close enough. Three of them, four of them, nice, okay. And then mark the burial site. There's another one, wow, okay. I'm going to go there by ship. It is a bit too far for walking, running, and jumping. land here just checking what's the status of the launch thruster 60% all right that means three more launches Just one. Oh. And another one at 300. I will go there by foot. No point in consuming my fuel for such a short distance. Looks like I traveled. 15 kilometers That's not very valuable Oh well I cannot mine those because they need advanced beams, so no point in going there. I 
can grab this buried technology, however. And hopefully I can find better bones. So, not a complete waste coming here. Just not great either. Uh, okay, there's a site there. And where is my ship? Okay, the ship is pretty far away. So, what to do? Don't fall in the hole. Oh, that's the hole I made. Funny. There are better ways to get to places later, but right now, walking, running. Oh, some fish. Okay. Five out of eight species. Maybe I can locate them all. Let's see. Is there any other fish type? No. Not very time efficient, but with bones, you never know. I might find the two million uh, ancient bone. Huh. Okay, let me check those. That's strange. Hmm. Underwater, underwater, and underground. Yeah, I don't think I will find those very easily unless I go into the deeper ocean. But I can try. Maybe not right now. Okay, there are two bones here. Oh, that is not great at all. One final attempt and then I'm getting out of here. One buried technology. The game does have some... Occasional boring things to do, like hunting for buried technology. One more here. Mm. I don't know. Not feeling like going there right now. And I don't see any more bones, so... That's it. Calling the ship, and we're getting out of here. Still, should be maybe a bit over 200,000 credits for those four bones. 
so not too shabby. Empty planet. Okay. It does look kind of empty, even from space. Oh, it sent me to an observatory. craft atlas pass because i know for sure i learned it ah yes it needs copper hope i don't forget to do that oh yes this is uh, an abandoned observatory Hello, hazardous flora. Abandoned, but still working. Okay, a puzzle. One, two, one, two. What could it be? What could it be? So, observatories are locating ruins which are locating archaeological sites and uh, they might have something valuable in them but before doing that I am going to continue looting whatever is here. There should be an... Uh... Where is it? No, I cannot find it. Oh well. There should be a technology module in the ground. But apparently there is none here. So... Just these refuge buildings which contain... Some stuff in them. Not very valuable, but... It's just a few seconds, so... Okay, the story says to return to space. Oh, space combat. Space combat. Okay. Um. Let's do some pew pew. My ship isn't great at the moment, but for a single enemy it's good enough. I 
and I got some reward. Okay. Before continuing with the story, maybe I should sell those bones. They are taking up space. I switched the mission so I don't accidentally scan uh, for a uh, holotransmitter from space. Uh, the reason is I want to use that holotransmitter which is close to my base. And didn't the base computer say that I need to learn a few more languages? I think it did. So, learning a few more languages and I can resolve that quest as well. It was three. But I will learn as many as I can here because Probably the next decryption will require even more words. No, this is a different type of NSPC. It wants to come visit my... Uh, base which is not yet fully constructed skipping him for now or them or her or yeah in this game the various inhabitants of uh, stations and outposts are just aliens they are not male or female so the game usually refers to them as them even on the single person not him or her just a little fun fact okay selling the bones huh? it's not bad Definitely not bad, but could have been some of the valuable ones. I think this is everyone. Yes, so now heading back to my uh, only base, which I should rename into something more personal, it's on planet Bob. So let's rename the base to wow I have no idea brain freeze moving some items around cleaning the place That's about it for now. I wanted to craft one of this, which means copper and microprocessor. I think I have at least one. Yes. So 
now with the key in my inventory I should be able to open some boxes positron module uh, I have no use for this yet so it goes in the box Just bear with me a little, I'm arranging some things here, keeping stuff as much as possible in order. I'm done with this, so it goes in the box. And this one goes in the box as well. Right, this key should... Uh, allow opening any of the fabricator things like this but because i learned the recipe in the anomaly i can make some as well just need a few ionized cobalt and some antimatter uh, let's see if i do have cobalt here No, I do have 100. It's not enough. But... Oh well. Doing a save. Just for safety. Cobalt? Cobalt? Here it is. So, at least from the cobalt perspective, this should allow me to create five of those barrels. Obviously, it needs antimatter too, so I'm not going to consume uh, all my chromatic metal on antimatter. Um, let's go with three. One, two, three. That's enough. And now I can place these things here. Which might not seem much until I open them. And due to a bug, it opens twice or even three times. And then I can just move them. And this is a bit cheaty actually, I'm not going to do it much. Can move it. Move it. And move it. And now I can open them again. Twice. So with these things you can basically create infinite amounts of whatever little things they are returning. So, what did I get? Two antimatters and two antimatter housing. It's just that out of the blue. I could make two more now. And then scan this as well. It gave me navigation data and carbon and with a bit of uh, patience more things. These are not game breaking because the stuff which the fabricators... Uh, sorry, what did I want to do? Ah yes, the flashlight. This is better. The things which these fabricators are giving aren't uh, very pricey, so you cannot just repeat this operation and then get rich. But it definitely helps early game to get a few items, maybe some antimatter which goes into starship fuel, so it's not bad, it's good to have. 
All right, back to the story. Locate the hollow terminus. There it is. And it should be nearby. It's not within walking distance, but it is on this planet. Okay, another pirate. Ah, why not? I could use the money. Space battles in this game aren't exactly interesting. There is a key which I can press which basically locks my ship onto the enemy. And I just press fire. But okay. It is a bit more... Another one? Come on! Why do you give me all this pirate scum game? This one is in the atmosphere. Interesting. He's running. Can I catch him? I can definitely catch him, so... Resolve. I remember correctly my launch trusts are empty so just recharge them and now back to the mission after earning a few more credits from those weak pirates and apparently the local inhabitants of the system the GEC are also happy with me for shooting down pirates so all good Life support is low, but I do have uh, not on the ship. I do have where is it? Oh, it is on the ship. So the life support gel is just restoring it all the way to 100%. So I will wait until it's as low as it goes and then um, use one of those to boost it back to 100%. Hey. Artemis gave me a technology which I have to install but since I don't have any microprocessor with me it's going back to the base this is not the same 
holographic communicator. Interesting. Game picked another. Ah yes, because I had space battles and such. Oh. Okay. The story wants me to report the fact that I found the Artemis to priest entity Nada. So let's do that. This thing here in the center is a quest station uh, that normally gives uh, missions or quests, but they are usually a bit harder than simple things which I'm doing now. So I will wait until I can upgrade some of my equipment. Uh, better exosuit, better shield, better weapon before I do any of those missions. For the moment I'm just following the primary storyline. Okay, I received some things though so now Uh, yeah, I can use the teleporter to get back into my base quicker than just flying there. Your base is current system. Every time when leaving the base or the place where these were constructed, they can be opened again. This is obviously bugged or one could call it even an exploit. It's not a big one, but it gave me some antimatter, so... I cannot say it's nothing. It is something. It's not a lot. Okay, I need the microprocessor. My last one. Hope no other item will uh, need them right now because uh, then it means going to the station and buying extra okay there's no more need for copper so I'm storing it however I am picking up the uranium and placing it in the ship in case I run out of those uh, launch fuel um, canisters Wow. Sometimes pirates give uh, defective equipment when they are destroyed and when analyzing it they return some great items like indium. This is a valuable thing, uh, material. Three? Yes, three levels above copper. So there's copper, then uh, there's cadmium, then emeril, and then indium is abo above all, all of them. Some of the very advanced technology of the game uh, requires this uh, 
indium material. I'm gonna store it because there's absolutely nothing I can do with it right now. However, it might prove useful a bit later. Okay, now with the translator installed, I have to scan some items. First, an alien outpost and talk with the alien in there. And I believe it will be a gag. Since I'm in a gag system. And I just found it. No need to search on foot, which is nice. It's good to spend a bit of time um, flying when the game directs to some location because it's possible to see My life support is running out quickly, but I want it to run out, so I can just recharge it back to the max. Nothing here. Yes, I know, recharge life support, I know, I will do it. And that's our gag. Hello, friend. I want to talk to you and learn some words. That's an extra word. Fine. Recharging life support. Stop bugging me. Back to 100%. Okay, next step is using this planetary chart to find an alien artifact. How far it is? Well, it is far. I'm not going to walk all the way to there. So, back to flying. Where was it? Me and my pilot piloting skills. I think I visited the monolith before, but it was of a different kind. Uh, this is the smaller version. So this is the second word and now finally a knowledge stone. Can I find one? Oh, there's some critters somewhere here. Let's see if I can... What am I looking for? A stone. And there it is. And that's step three. Thirty words. Nice.
Don't hit the ground, please. Oh, 200. That might be an underground creature. Then lose it. No, it's not an underground creature. I think I'm getting lost here. How many? Five out of ten. Okay, it's. Nah, leave them. Not very interesting. Okay, this is too far for flying through the atmosphere, so I'm just going to get in space, engage the pulse drive for a few seconds, and go back to pulse driving to my destination. This is usually a lot faster than just flying through the atmosphere because the speed of the ship is many orders of magnitude higher in uh, space than uh, on a planet this is the trade outpost and there's my target but first left all these boxes here unattended they shouldn't have done that because I'm coming and looting them all So, it tells me I need to increase my reputation rank. How can I do that? Maybe talking with this one and offering them a gift? Maybe. And learning the language uh, word as well. Sure, why not? And good thing I had those two Gek relics with me. They were probably in a box somewhere. So this storyline quest just got instantly resolved without having to go to a station and doing missions. Shortcuts. First time when I played, I didn't know I can just talk with them and uh, give them gifts. So this took way longer than right now. I don't really need to buy all this stuff, but sure, why not? I have a bit of money. Anyway, with the rank improved, now I can talk with this guy again. And... Okay. Take some units. It says that the star chart that Artemis gave me is wrong. Well, that is disappointing. 
let's tell Artemis that the star chart is bad. And apparently I've already met 30 aliens. Okay, those stars do not exist. So... Hmm. This traveler has no idea where they are. But revealed another part of the story, the fact that uh, he or she, well, let's uh, consider it's a she, maybe, uh, used some kind of a portal to go to the place where she's lost. And now I have to report this fact to priest entity Nada. And this conversation also gave me the contact for another character named Apollo. Which means today um, important part of the storyline is resolved. I am going to talk to Nada. Then uh, head back out, contact Apollo maybe, or no, I just go back to my uh, base and end this episode. I think it has been at least one hour. So that's enough for one episode. I will contact Apollo in the next one. And uh, we'll see what comes next. But not before looting these things again. This feels so dirty. I should stop doing it. I don't want to mine copper and refine it just to get some uh, antimatter. I mean, yeah. Okay, that's about it for now. Next step, um, if I switch back, is locate the holo terminus. I will trigger this so the location is. Oh, it wants to be in space. Okay, never mind. Saving the game, and that's it. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye.